Hi, I'm Sean, and you're watching Shopworks. And uh, today, I'm going to get started on, uh, I guess, what I'm going to call my six door build. Uh, not really sure how I want to uh, call it or, or not yet, but it's going to be uh, basically a six door Bronco or uh, old body style Ford uh, equivalent of an excursion or whatever we uh, name it uh, further along here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to be using the frame on this truck here for uh, basically my build out. So once I uh, get that going here, I'm going to strip all the stuff down and uh, get her all opened up and get her into, into the shop there and we can figure out what we're doing from there. So just step one is tear her apart. So while I've been gone, I've uh, you know been gone out east there for a couple months for work, and uh, been going through and uh, getting stuff ready to go for this project here. So going to be starting this uh, officially here probably this weekend. I ended up getting some uh, rear quarters, some front fenders, and a tailgate. So just going to be unloading those, and uh, tailgate's hiding under here. She's pretty heavy, and we'll uh, probably start tearing into that. Take all the uh, checker plate out of here so I can get to the front bolts and whatnot. These things are always a pain in the butt. I usually just take a grinder and uh, knock off the top heads of the bolts there and lift the box off. But there's a uh, fair bit of other stuff I got to do still. Take the filler necks off, uh, wiring, probably rip the bumper off to make things easier, you know, stuff like that. box is pretty uh, pretty trashed here so probably not gonna even save it just use it for throwing scrap uh, body panels in while I'm building here the aluminum well I'm not sure might be able to reuse it somewhere else or if not there's always a scrap bin Time's of an essence on this project here, because on top of doing work, uh, as you can see this lovely white stuff down here, and trees change in color and everything, it's uh, a race to beat the clock so I can actually paint it, because i got nowhere to paint it but outside. Luckily for me, I use Endura, Endura's got a kicker in it, so we can uh, do it when it's uh, a little cooler out. I made the mistake of uh, painting in the shop once, and that was the one and only time. Everything had blue overspray on it. So on top of using the frame on here, I'm going to be uh, also using the transmission, uh, engine runs, I'm actually going to go away from the 7.3 and uh, do up a 6.9 in here and uh, don't have to worry about cavitation or anything that way uh, so I'm going to be putting turbo on it and then uh, things go a little worse there on a 7.3 my engine guy there says we've got a 4 inch leave every hole there and with a 6.9 we can bore it out uh, a couple of times there still and uh, be good, be safe so I'm going to go with the 6.9 and uh, put an ATS turbo on it. And the reason I'm going with the uh, 6.9 on it is I kind of like the reliability of the old IDI diesels. I've had uh, a few of them over the years. 
and they've always been uh, fantastic on mileage and on top of the, the mileage and everything it's been reliable as all get out uh, a lot more than the newer vehicles so uh, unfortunately I'm going to be sticking with the auto tranny in here the E4OD just basically doing that so anybody can drive it um, you know wife whatever it's going to be a, a family hauler so kind of nice when you can split the driving up Yeah, after working away for so long, it, uh, it's kind of coming down to the crunch. on that one but at least it's loose. This one here's got some broken screws. had a lot more money than uh, most people I guess do stuff like this. Rubber. these bolts off here they usually have an oblong shoulder in them and that's so it uh, doesn't turn in here when you suck the nuts on the bottom but they're just a pain in the butt to get off so what I usually end up doing is uh, grinding the heads off and then driving them back down or just lifting with the hole and uh, they'll come so just so you know there's uh, you know this isn't the totally proper way of doing it I need safety glasses. And I guess the reasons I'm doing this outside here is kind of twofold. I'm uh, trying to make some space in the shop so I have room to work on this and film and do it. And, uh, the other one is I don't like smelling the fumes and whatnot, and I got lots of room to work around here. So, anywho, let me get at it.
under arrest. Seems pretty loose. Pretty much got to do the pickaxe now and uh, just the wiring for the taillights. Right now I'm just pulling all the stuff off here because uh, not really sure what I'm going to have left over from the other cabs and I'm going to use the better parts of everything here. Especially since that hailstorm I've had uh, pretty much all my donor vehicles with good chrome are uh, not so good anymore. But uh, that in itself is a problem to these projects. Well, I got the box loose, uh, still haven't lifted it off here yet, but uh, you can uh, see I ground out uh, the bolts there, pounded them through, and uh, started tearing out some of the interior, uh, seat belts and stuff I'm going to save. These seats are absolute garbage, there's uh, no saving them, and uh, what I definitely didn't want to have is a uh, mouse nest. and well, lots of it. Uh, basically the whole rear seat. So, got her pulled out, uh, ripping the rest of the trim and whatnot out of here. Anything that I uh, might need to save for this uh, cab extension here. So, unfortunately these are the best I've got for uh, front door pillars here that are probably going to be the, the sixth row at the end. And uh, this one here, same thing, we'll spruce them up a little bit, carpet's junk, dash is uh, well, not much better, door panels are trashed. On the plus side, uh, somebody's been through here and put new hinges on uh, all four doors, so that's a bonus, they're all nice and tight. And uh, be pulling the rest here. So, like I say, with the... Dash being junk, well, Dash is definitely junk. So that's why she's a donor, donor parts cab. The other reason I'm not even going to monkey with this one here is uh, I don't, don't much care for the see-through. So, 
I fixed them before. I just really don't feel like it. I think I got a better cab that I'm going to use for the nose. So this will be be chalked somewhere. Oh, where are we here? Somewhere back about here, I believe. Time I time I get on it. Drop it just in front of the the two body lines there, and right up in here. And again, once I go to graph that Bronco back end on, will probably be about the same somewhere right about that seam. And uh, down below here, it shall knock majority of uh, any rust I got to fix out of this thing here. So, uh, may as well keep stripping. Well, on the plus side of things, and, uh, you know, when you're working on old stuff, there's not a whole lot of plus uh, side of things a lot of times. The uh, rad sport actually looks pretty good considering, uh, you know, its age. It's uh, been waterproofed with a lot of oil, so I'd call that a bonus. At least I don't have to try rebuilding it uh, by the looks of things so far. I'll just have to stretch it. So that, that should be good. You know, start draining the, the antifreeze out and we'll uh, tear into her. Well, guys, I've uh, been at it for a while longer and uh, slowly consolidating all my tools down in the drain pan down here. I'm slowly draining the antifreeze into. And uh, it's coming apart. I've been breaking a bunch of fasteners and whatnot. But the worst part is, is this... Uh, Rad support here is uh, not as good as I thought it was from my first impression. I don't know uh, how I'm going to fix this one up yet. Whether I'm just going to add some pieces into it and rebuild what's there, or if I'm going to go down below and grab another one and uh, see if I can't make something good out of two or maybe one that's uh, a lot better shape than this one. So we will see. Meantime, I'm going to keep tearing at it. Well, here's a new one for me. I've had the usual uh, mice nests and stuff. And, uh, you know, seat belts chewed here. I'll have to find another one of those. The uh, thing that was kind of weird, I popped the, the pillar here, the B pillar. And it's just full of grain in here. Just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. Anyway, I'm starting to run out of spots where I can find surprises in here. So, I guess that's a good thing, but.
we can uh, see what we got to work with in here now. I'm just taking that tranny hump cover off still and uh, stripping right down to the firewall. We got some rust right around the uh, seat belt mounts here on the B pillar on both sides. Obviously, driver side's worse than the uh, passenger side. That's what we're going to have to repair there as well as uh, some of the seat mounts so back rust there we're probably not going to have to worry about much there at all I believe we're not going to be using much of anything of that so that should be fine pull that back piece off there finish stripping the wiring out now that it's not covered in mouse poo and clay and dirt and garbage and everything else here and uh, pull the other seat belt bolts out and uh, then I get back on that uh, rod support and whatnot up front there get ready to pull the bolts and lift her off just because I got to go fishing for some pieces and that's all the mouse schmag that uh, came out of this truck that was an empty vacuum at the beginning and there's the piece I need hopefully last time back well, I've got the front clip tore off here, and uh, as far as I know, everything connecting between the firewall and uh, basically the engine compartment and tranny shift cable, the uh, grounds from the frame to the cab, the uh, accelerator, brake booster, etc., etc., air conditioner lines, uh, heater lines, all all removed on here now. So I'm gonna have the hole come over here and. Uh, I've got some brackets built from lifting my cab before, on my crew cab. We're going to lift it off, get it out of the way, and uh, see what all we've got to touch up on the frame here.
Okay, so, looks like I'm going to have to touch up uh, these mounts here. That uh, hole's definitely not supposed to be that big.
Now the trick is, is to get all the other parts and pieces you need off here at the same time. And I believe this is different for the automatic versus the manual. I could be wrong on that, but I'm going to peel it off. And uh, go from there with it. I need that piece as well. Let's race it with the flex plate. Find what size these are and get them off. Well, I'm going to be putting polyurethane body mounts in here. The only uh, two that I know I'm going to be using so far is the front and the uh, cab under the A-pillar there, where the feet go. The front ones are all rotted out, so I'm going to have to uh, cut them out and weld a new puck in there. I'm not going to quite go with the same style of mounts because we have to lift the body up on here to clear the uh, footboards there for the third row. So going to be removing these other ones. John's working uh, getting the last of the rear cab mounts out here. And uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to rework these or, or what. They're needing uh, a little bit of uh, attention probably here. So get going on that. And just a bunch of cleanup and uh, make the lifts and start putting her together. And these ones are pretty simple, just uh, energy suspension skit there. One sandwich in between the top and the bottom. And away you guy goes, so we'll put those two in and then uh, start seeing how I'm doing the rest. So, to repair these, I know you can buy these things, I just don't have the time to sit and wait uh, for them to come out of the States. And it'll probably be at least two weeks before I get them. So I'm going to be putting in some uh, plugs I cut with the hole saw there. Same thickness of the of steel. I'm going to die grind them out, weld this in. I've got them exactly 44 and a quarter inches center to center marked out. That's uh, the original setting there. And then after that I'm just going to drill through what I need here with the hole saw. Again, and uh, if I don't have one the right size for that, I'll just go smaller and then die grind it out until a little lip fits there, so that's what I'm up to. the same and uh, we'll weld them in. Had it welded in and uh, apparently forgot to turn the camera on there, so drilled it out to an inch and an eighth. It's the uh, closest hole saw I had to be an undersized. We still have a problem. Uh, just going to die grind it out just a little bit as we go here, revolution or two at a time, and uh, test it. And I'll go over and do the other one now.
still too tight. Not a little bit on here, so I got a guide on how much I'm taking off. Well, there's a whole bunch of schools of thought on, on these frames here, and uh, painting and what so not. Uh, honestly, I've, I've always never painted the frames. Uh, some people do. I find everything that I've had with either a painted frame or an undercoated frame, you get uh, a rock or something that pierces it. Next thing you know, you got water in behind there, and all that frame is, is for the... Uh, undercoating or paint just holds the water in there and it rusts out in that one spot and it just blisters. Here at least it's got a chance to dry back out and whatnot. so I uh, always go like this so I never paint it and uh, never had a frame uh, fail that way. So I think I'm gonna stop this video here on this six door build and I'm gonna pick up with the next one probably on doing the frame lengthening I'm going to have to stretch it about uh, six inches or so, make the wheelbase match up for what I need. Uh, I think that's probably a good spot as any to, to start with, is uh, cutting and splicing. So, in the meantime, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching, and uh, if you like like what you see here, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, some of the other stuff's going to get a little more uh, detail-oriented, and. Uh, some of that there, especially when we get into doing some engine modifications on the 6.9 there. And uh, we've got a few other uh, videos I got to piece together here when I was working out east there. Uh, a little bit of hoe work and, uh, and a uh, rental TL8 we tried out there for a couple months. So, anywho, uh, thanks for watching again and uh, like and subscribe. And uh, there'll be many parts to the series here. So. See you around.